Hi everybody and welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. It's not a good day, it's a sad day. I'm in my 2008 Santa Fe, Hyundai Santa Fe, and the shifter last night started to give me problems. It started to feel a little stiff, and towards the end of the night, uh, the car would go into park but then not start. So this morning, I have now started the car, and as you will see, everything's gone haywire. I've started the car and it's in park. However, it says reverse in the shift uh, indicator there. And it is now uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger could not move this out of park now. It is frozen in park. So this is the problem I have today. It could be the shifter itself, most likely the cable that connects to the shifter lever here uh, may have come loose, maybe binding right here. Or it could be on top of the transmission underneath the hood there where uh, it connects to the transmission. The cable could be out of adjustment. It could be the neutral safety switch, which is the switch that tells the car which gear it's in. And that could be gone. Okay, I'm going to start by taking the console apart so I can see if the shipper, shifter cables are binding inside here. So I've got to take this whole section off. There's two Phillips head screws, one here and one on the other side. And this array of 10 millimeter bolts here, plus a couple screws. I'm taking all those things out. We'll see if we can get the back end of this off. The one bolt there that then exposed another uh, screw right here on both sides. So one, two, one, two, four, and it jiggles, but it won't come out. There's another screw underneath this decorative plate. The decorative plate, that was so hard to get out. I had to use plastic pry bars. So this whole thing has now come loose, but the shifter knob, how do you get the shifter knob off? And I struggled with that. What you gotta do is put your key in the ignition, put it into neutral, and then pull straight up like this. With incredible power, I will pull straight up. <clears throat> okay, I need two hands. Apparently, I'm not as powerful as I thought I was. Okay, we're in neutral. Pull straight up. Oh, I hit myself in the face. Oh. Ow. Um, had to undo one clip here. Press down on the sides. Another clip here. Press down the sides both at the same time. Another clip here. Push down, tab in center. One, two, three. And then, this was a tough one. There's a tab. You gotta get the plate off of a little bit so you can reach in there. And then you gotta push down this tab. And there we go. Okay, I disconnected the shifting rod from the shifting mechanism. So right now it's in neutral. It'll go from neutral to drive, but it won't go forward. And now once I disconnected this cable, that which goes to the transmission, that showed me that the interference, the problem, is inside the shifter itself, not at the transmission, not in the cable itself. It is, I believe, in the shifter mechanism itself. Okay, got the four big bolts out, uh, uh, 12 mil bolts, plus two more electrical connectors which came off uh, fairly easy, the gray one and the white one. Get the actual shifter cable to release from the shifter assembly. What you gotta do is you gotta pull back on this, because it's fitting into different two little slots there, and then lever it up with a screwdriver, or even just the power of your hand, like I have here, oh, ouch. Incredibly powerful hands. That didn't work. Just like that. See? Now we got the shifter mechanism out. Or do we? Yes, we got the shifter. Yes. Okay, so we get this out and look at all the crumbs. I suspect that those are donut crumbs because this was an ex uh, law enforcement vehicle. Those are definitely donut crumbs. And I've visually inspected everything from the outside. There's nothing I can see that's binding. 
I think the problem is within the top plate here. That's what I think. So I've got to pry that off. Okay, I got the top plate off. Then there's a number of small plastic decorative pieces that sort of hide the mechanism from you, allows the shifter to move. Just take that off. Now I put the, the rod back in just to keep everything stable because I don't believe that's the problem. Okay, so there's manual, drive, neutral, Nope, won't go into reverse. Why? Okay, I didn't really show this, but I took out the solenoid. This solenoid is connected to this little arm, and that controls whether or not you can uh, shift out of park. So for example, if you do not have the key in the ignition and the ignition turned on, you cannot shift out of park. And that is this little lever that stops uh, your uh, shifter, uh, stops your shifter from shifting. And the solenoid is activated once you put the key in. This plunger goes down and that pulls this whole cylinder this way, which then unlocks the shifter so you can shift it. Now, this solenoid is not working. So therefore, this was staying locked. That was preventing me from moving the shift lever uh, back into park and all the rest. So I believe that the solenoid is what's gone on this shifter mechanism. Okay, so finally my parts came in for the Hyundai Santa Fe. This is my solenoid that controls uh, the shifter. And this was fairly expensive. This is again up in Canada. But as you can see, it's $106 for this little guy. Right down there is where the solenoid lives. Now, there's two screws that hold it in right here. I've already taken those out. There's our solenoid. It's attached to a lever, as you can see, lever goes up and down, and it's attached, I've already removed the uh, electrical connectors here at the back, being held on right here, can you see that? Right down here, with a little, oh, see there we go, and then we can, pull, oh yeah, pull this straight out, like that then this lever will come right out. Oh, and by the way, that's the part number from Hyundai. This guy is ready to go back in the car. Okay, I roughly bolted in just two bolts, one there, one there, to hold the shifter in place. I reconnected to the shift cable back to its connection there. I don't have my knob, but I should. I'm gonna see if this is gonna work now. Put my little shifter plate back in so I can see where I'm at. I'm at neutral right now, and we'll go Accessory. We should be in park. Let's see if the car will start. No, nope, won't start. Oh, it says it's in reverse. Hmm. Okay, so I think there's a secondary problem here. I can see that this is very stiff to move. And now that that, I now can tell that it is actually the shift cable. It's very hard to move it. All right, well, uh, we found out that uh, our problems are more than we thought. We have a shifter cable problem. It's very, very stiff to move it back and forth. That tells me that we have a problem. Okay, so now we're gonna check 
uh, the cable going to the top of the transmission, which is down there, and the neutral safety switch, as it's called, which is a switch that tells the transmission uh, computer which gear that you're in. So that switch could be uh, stiff, broken, uh, stuck, something, or the cable could be stiff, broken, stuck. Okay. That's off. The best thing about the plastic cover over this V6 engine is that it makes a nice little place for you to put your tools. <laughs> Looks like we got four more 12 mil bolts to take up the battery tray. Okay, so here's what we've got. This is the cable coming in from the shifter. It's uh, bolted on to this boomerang shaped metal object with another bolt right here. And as you change your from uh, park to reverse to neutral to drive, this pulls up or down and moves this quadrant this way or this way. So my theory now is that it's rusted or somehow binding inside here. I don't believe the cable's at fault. I believe it's inside here, but we're gonna find out. Now I'm gonna undo this 12, this 12, and see what's up. You have disconnected uh, the 12 mil bolt on the shift cable and tested inside. The shifter moves now freely, easily. That means that the cable itself is fine. That means it, the trouble is gonna be inside here somehow. Uh, by the way, this is a 14 mil bolt right here. Okay, I've got the electrical connector disconnected. Now I'm gonna take off these two 10 mil bolts to take off this whole neutral switch assembly. Okay, so I managed to get the uh, L-shaped lever off by rocking it back and forth. It was slightly rusted onto the center shaft here. That eventually came off. Then we have the plastic neutral safety switch. Now you don't want to pry on this thing because it's plastics, right? So again, WD-40 is your friend. And I rocked it back and forth until eventually it came out. This is your neutral safety switch. And I think the real problem is, is that the selector here, the shaft that goes into the transmission and then moves something inside, I don't know what, that is like rusted. That's the real problem. I don't, I don't necessarily think there's anything wrong with the neutral safety switch. The reason why the cable is so stiff is because this is all rusty. Now I put some WD-40 around here. I don't know if that's gonna be enough, but that's inside the transmission. That's scary. Basically this shaft has gotten frozen with rust or corrosion. And so by putting WD-40, I freed it up. Now, another idea that I saw in another video is that you could also heat up the shaft, say with a propane torch to get it nice and hot and use WD-40 and that will accelerate everything and free up everything. Be careful here. Okay, as you can see, I've got the lever back on to the, the stud that goes into the transmission, the one that appears to be corroded and not moving freely. And um, I put WD-40 down it to make, try and make everything move a little bit easier. Now I'm gonna try the shifter again. And remember the shifter was either wouldn't move or extremely stiff to move from gear to gear. So we're in park. See, now everything's moving a lot better. That's, okay, so this is now normal. Suddenly it's got better. Okay, so the answer is, the ultimate answer for my problem is I have two problems with this shifter. One was the solenoid for the neutral or safety lockout. You know, the one that doesn't allow the shift lever to move once you take the key out from park. Uh, that solenoid wasn't working. And so therefore, after you got out of park, it wouldn't go back into park. Uh, that was one problem. This is why it's kind of confusing. There's two problems here. That was one problem. So getting a new solenoid is probably the fix for that. But the other problem was that it was so stiff to move to the point where it wouldn't move anymore. And I've just fixed that by putting WD-40 on my shaft. Okay, 
everything is back in place and looks as if nothing ever happened. But now let's see if I have fixed all the problems. Okay, shift into reverse. Yes. Reverse. Neutral. Neutral. Drive. Drive. So the solenoid is working properly now. Shifter is working properly now. All right, there you have it. The jobs are done. And I say jobs because this was actually two separate problems that I took care of in this one video. Okay, so that's how you fix your 2008 Hyundai Santa Fe if you're having uh, hard shifting or uh, your shifter will not come out apart no matter what you do. So I hope that this helps you. Uh, and if it does, please like and subscribe for more. So thanks for watching Photo Mike's Garage. I will see you next time.